Still don't get that symbol. What? They disappeared in the desert? I don't even remember that happening. I just thought we killed them all and then they... Oh yeah, because the guy was... Oh, yeah. We're now going to the jungle. It's called Abysmo Island. Abysm. Arriving at objective. God, this dumb fucking game. Like, I bet you, like, because, you know, the Japanese love puns and shit. They thought, oh, that's really clever. We called it Abysmo. I'm going in. Now, Ryu, this is the first ever cr cr recorded Halo jump. Oh, this kind of reminds me of Just Cause now. Oh, don't look at that JPEG for too long. Oh, okay, I got hit by that one because I was mashing it and it was just ignoring my evade prompts, so apparently I didn't choose the right one. blow that one up right now. Just stabber stabber. Yeah, the change from Ayane back to Ryu actually really helped me like kind of like feel more efficient understanding the gameplay a little bit more when using Ryu, but I'm still getting hit here and doing dumb shit like this get stunlocked by a guy's bullets just for the other guy to put you in an unblockable throw move, that's nice. <laughs> Look at this guy flipping away. Who keeps yelling that? <laughs> wow, just they really didn't expect you to be looking at that corner when the new guys popped in from the jungle there. That was just straight up fucking unfinished. Ship it. Fuck it, just ship it. But sir, they blip into existence, ship it. I lost, I guess. But did he really win when he just immediately got decapitated afterwards? <laughs> Why does he keep yelling shit? <laughs> Sense your enemies because we don't know how to do better camera movement. Oh, now what? I'm not cleaning my sword, so I assume there's another dude. Does this count as an active enemy? Impressive. Crazy, but impressive. Thanks for the quirky one-liner. I hope you come back in about five minutes. Is that like... Ugh, no, just get this. Is Cicada Surge like... For, you know when Bayonetta turns into the butterflies? Is it like that where you just you just frame it and it just I've never seen insects like this before. Oh. This is no normal island. They eat my dick. Blue bugs on my dick. Come to tropical abysmo. Blue bugs on your dick. No, not my dick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> dick bugs. They call them. They just love biting people's dicks. Oh great, there's like an endless supply of them. Thanks, stab my dick a bit. Why does he keep yelling shit? Nest is in way. Oh, okay. 
I'm too dumb to have worked that out. And oh my god, they just endlessly spawn so fast. Punished with terrible gameplay. <laughs> Go away. Just leave. Ah, good. Oh, it's gone. I guess I could tell from the lack of infinitely spawning ones. Is the ninja. Oh, I got kicked. Oh, the shame. How did you not hear the exploding nest earlier? You gotta be careful. Who knows what kind of stuff is waiting for you out here? It could even be more bugs. Oh, it'd be so cool if there was a hippo boss. Okay, that's the right path, so we'll go this way. Ah, oh, and an invisible wall, so. Ah, oh, secret doggo. I'm sorry, buddy. Petition to ban you ever like having to fight doggos in a game. <laughs> like, to be honest, it's not even a fun gameplay thing. Like, I don't understand why they put it in a game. Like, you know, it's like, oh yeah, you know, different enemy type, but it's never a good enemy type for me. <laughs> lol. Knock, knock. Oh, he, he died from a door opening in his face. Ow. Time to die. <laughs> Why you put the dog there? I just feel bad. You're trying to demoralize me. Dog doesn't know. This is an asshole dog. Maybe the dog was trained by David Cage to be a huge asshole. <laughs> so then I'm just helping him, really. See, it's fine. We're, we're doing it. We do it. The sleigh bells are jingling in the jungle. It's a lot of like these big fighting areas in this mission and it kind of goes on for a while so I'm just kind of like, ah yes. More fighting. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, you know, I'm just reminiscing about character action games where you don't kind of feel bad for playing the repetitive and boring gameplay. Uh, and I'm just thinking back to like, oh, I miss Ninja Gaiden 2. <laughs> and Bayonetta 1, which I played recently. And Vanquish, which I played recently. <laughs> Vanquish is fucking rad. Go play Vanquish. It's out again on the PS4 with Bayonetta. They re-released them. It's fucking amazing. Like I thought, nah, it's not that good. People are just crazy because it's platinum, right? And it's like, no, I actually had a lot of fun with that game. It does some stuff. And for someone who really liked Gears of War, because I was a bit weird and obsessed with Gears of War in college, I basically failed college because I was playing Gears of War too much. Uh, yeah. It's got a lot of that cover-based shooting, but it does a lot of shit I wish, wish the Gear of War did at some point. And I'm like, yo, shit's pretty rad. A radio. But where is it? What is radio? I am from feudal era Japan. <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to use those, am I? Am I? Oh, I never use this. I forgot I even bought it. <laughs> I could have used the 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 the, the, the flippy uh, Wolverine claws, but like for some reason I'm like, nah. Can you jump on that truck? I don't want to jump on your truck. L away.
he didn't notice me. Don't get caught. I'll just stay in a static pose for a half hour, don't worry. The toothbrushes to tanks, guys? The one and only. They used to be your average massive high-tech conglomerate, but ever since the economic crash and resulting industry shakedown, they diversified into manufacturing, well, anything and everything. After analyzing the weapons we see... I know it's not, like, literally like they made toothbrushes, but would you buy a toothbrush from a company called the League of Alchemists, or whatever their name was? It's always been that way. Hey, I, I use Colgate. What do you use? League of Alchemists. LOA has global reach. If anyone could control the mass media, it's them. So that means they could be behind this. That's how it works, guys. You have an office in every country, that means you can just control mass media. We're already at Abysmo, aren't we? This is so confusing. Is this a flashback? Americans are angry about other countries having autonomy. <gasps> Who would have thought? Okay, just be careful out there. Actually, you could just remove the concept of America and just put any global superpower, and that would still make sense. I'll be back soon, okay? You listen to Cliff while I'm away. Oh, do I have to? He's a dork. Also, I look like that girl that Shadow was obsessed with in Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh god, <laughs> she looks like, what was her name, Rose? Promise. No. Let's go. Maria? Okay. God, I should remember. Because he shouts her name like a hundred times in the game. Protect my mommy. Her and you both. Thankfully they didn't get much of a child actor. I promise made up name. Again, let's just use my horrible, tumorous hand to hold your child hand. Come on, Hayabusa. Could just use my left hand. Yeah, Waver is turned back. Good work, asshole. <laughs> what is it with Japanese video games and them rendering children? Uh, mostly just character action, because that's all I play, right? Uh, where they just render children and they're like hideous freaks. And you're like, why? Damn, burn the truck. Yeah, for a ninja, I'm not very stealthy. So I remember last time, actually, in the last part, I was talking about Mark of the Ninja. And I was like, oh, if you want a good ninja game, you should play that. And so it's pretty fucking dumb as like uh, a concept to like uh, compare this because that's like comparing like apples to oranges a little bit because they're completely different like this is a 3D character action game with lots of violence and uh, Mark of the Ninja is a 2D like stealth action platformer that you can violently attack in but it's not like you know you're not doing combos and shit. Still, if you just like the theme of ninjas, you might like it. It's a good game, man. If you want a cool, brutal 3D action, uh, character action game, there's like fucking tons of them, man. So I don't know why you'd end up getting stuck here, <laughs> like is what I'm saying. Other than like me, you bought the Master Collection and thought, well, I'm gonna do all of them. <laughs> Let me just say, did Ninja Gaiden Sigma 1, unpopular take, didn't really like it that much, thought it was a bit stupid, but like, I mean, it's just like, I feel like if you play Ninja Gaiden 2, it kind of works on a lot of the gameplay of 1, and really just improves in places, so if you play them backwards, oh, hello. I forgot you were in this game. 
speaking of Ninja Gaiden 2. <laughs> This is not going well. Ah, there we go. One is dead. No, I will obliterate you. Stand still. Oh, hello. Oh, I didn't even know he was there. Joy! None of these guys hold their guns properly. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, no, like, you know, like, my, per my perception of Ninja Gaiden is a really fucked up one, and that means that I, hey guys, hitting enemies of Nimpo will heal me. Oh, they ran away. My perception of the, uh, oh no, it's the Crash Bandicoot level. People complain about Crash Bandicoot, but then we'll play this. This shit. Wait, it's not letting me run? Yeah, it's finally letting me run and it's almost too late. This handles like dog shit. Oh, oh, and it just stopped me. Like, all my momentum is gone and I'm dead. Thanks. I was holding forwards and it was just like, I will slowly walk. Oh. Oh, thanks. Now I can't move at all. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> this is so bad. I'm going to drink my ginger beer out of frustration. It's the worst it's ever been. And I say that a lot. Well, I'm just going to slide jump like I'm Sanic. Fuck this shit. Oh, I'm on fire again. Oh, oh no. I'm dead again? Oh no, it's just jelly. It's just red jelly. We're fine. Go through the blades. It's fine. I'm a ninja. Trust me. I got my license and everything. Ooh, a waterfall. Glad that water was shallow. Wouldn't want to hurt my fucking face. Oh great. Infested helicopter again. For fuck's sake. It doesn't. It makes even less sense than DMC2. Think about it, DMC2. Okay, what does Dante have? A fuck ton of guns. What does Ryu have? A fucking bow? <laughs> Come on, man. It's even less logical. Like, when I think of Ryu Hayabusa, I don't think, wow, what a great zona. <laughs> like... I think, oh, that's that guy with a hundred swords. Well, at least it wasn't as bad as last time. But I'm sure the third helicopter will be the really good one. Oh. Oh, gameplay's back. Oh, it just kind of... That guy tried to kill me, but it didn't work. Uh... So, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Which way do you want me to jump this time? I'm glad nature naturally produces parallel services, surfaces, and jetpacks. Look at this naturally occurring jetpack slash flamethrower. This was not developed, we harvest them from the trees. Oh no! Just stop, stop zoning me out in this melee base fighting beat em up thing. Ah! It's like playing justice all over again. I don't want to fight you, Deathstroke, you're boring. <laughs> Literally Firefly from Arkham City. <laughs> or Arkham Knight, who cares? Origins. Oh man, did I ever tell that story? Is it time to tell that story? One of my friends I used to work with was like... 
Oh man, you should play Arkham City, uh, Arkham Origins. I don't know why people complain. It's just as good as City and Asylum. And I was like, okay, I'll just play it. Cause he literally just gave it to me and was like, no, you should play it. And I played it and spoiler alert, <laughs> it's not as good. And there are a lot of reasons why people don't like it. A, it's more of the same. B, it's just got a lot of shit that you're like, really? Just going here again, are we? Or just characters that you don't care about, like Electrocutioner. It's just, it's just bad. It's just bad, man. It's just bad. It feels bad. It's not Batman, it's Batman. What do you want me to do? Oh, I see. Oh, I thought you wanted me to just wall run round and round at the speed of sound. Glad this bird got in this cave. Bird cave. I mean, I, they can if they want. It's free real estate. Ah, uh, I don't know what to buy. It seems pointless me buying for the weapon I'm never using. Oh, it's just. Oh, yay, dick bugs. Doing escape from Bug Island over here. Oh my god, it's an island. We are escaping from Bug Island. No. Great. I should go through the walls. Oh. More bug. Hey, what do you even want me to say here other than talk about other games I'd rather be playing? Other than maybe, I don't know, my ranking system is for the Ninja Gaiden games is like obviously weighted by nostalgia where it's like I played Ninja Gaiden 2 and then all I ever heard people say is Ninja Gaiden Black's like really fucking good, you should play it and I never played it. Oh no! Yeah, I'm not gonna keep fighting these guys. They seem like this infinite or this ray, and it's just boring. <clears throat> got I got places to be. Fuck this. <laughs> Yay, we're in a bland facility. It's like nest, but worse. Ooh. Jesus, these guys are their infinite rocket launchers. Duh! Just shoot the guy who's shooting me! No! Don't hit the other guy! There you go. Yeah, Ninja Gaiden 1's pretty good. It's pretty good, but like... There are times in the game where you're just given a giant city and told Fuck you, go the right way, and you have to use a terrible map system, or you're just wandering around infinitely spawning dudes who do way too much damage and can kill you and then send you all the way back to the beginning uh, of your last checkpoint. And if you don't know where you're going, that could be like 45 minutes of like, quote unquote, progress, because you don't know where you're going, lost, and you're just like, now I have to remember all the cool shit I did pick up by accident. You know. 
hitting enemies with Ninko will heal me. Ugh, I didn't know that. Uh, and yeah, it just felt like, you know, you can have a little bit of that, but expecting the player to want to actually, like, not use a walkthrough for that is ridiculous. It's like, you know, and it's not a pretty environment. There's a lot of gray in that first game. There's a lot of gray and then there's a lot of, now you're going into catacombs and now you're going into an Egyptian, ancient Egyptian tomb and now you're going into a Mesoamerican tomb and they're all connected to each other because fuck you, Europe is apparently just one giant city. <laughs> And half of those things aren't in Europe, <laughs> so... And they don't have the most exciting boss fights, like, I'm not gonna lie. Several of the boss fights feel like rejected monster hunters, and one of them looks like it came from a hentai. Because <laughs> it's just a giant tentacle monster that swallows a woman. So you're a bit like, oh my god, why did they make it this way? But like, it's not a bad game. It does reuse a lot of bosses though. And near the end of the game, you'll be fighting the same worm boss for the third time, but this time it's fire instead of electrical ice. And you'll be like, oh, I hate fighting this boss, it's so boring. And it does way too much damage and they think that that's a difficulty boost and it's not, it's just annoying. But, you know, there are some great things from that game, like, you, I wish would come back. Uh, you could have nunchucks. Uh, I ended up basically never using them, but they're there. Uh, there's, there's a lot of interesting stuff in that game. They were like, oh, that's pretty cool. For example, in uh, 2, you had tonfas as well, and I'm like, oh, they're really cool, I love them. I don't know if they're in this game, but uh, I didn't find them in 1, I think. I didn't use them in one, I need to stop a bit. It was alright, it just kind of like... It has that issue that Mortal Kombat has, where it's trying to just do everything. Where it's like, and then there was a dinosaur, and then the ninja fought the dinosaur, then there was an alien, and then there was Satan, and then there was a demon, and then like, how is any of this on theme with anything else? It kind of suffers that identity thing of like, just like, you, you gotta kind of stay on theme a little bit, otherwise it starts to get a bit weird, you know? And like, it feels like it's written by someone who just likes saying things, like, and then there was a dragon, and then the booby lady appeared, and she was like, oh my god, kiss me, Ryu, because you saved me from the tentacle monster. And you just feel like, was this written by like a five year old? What the fuck? <laughs> like, you know, like. Designs aren't terrible. The designs aren't awful. There's some creativity there. It's just, it's not the kind of creativity that you would see in, say, Bayonetta or Devil May Cry, where it's got a theme that's overarching everything and they're cool designs. It's just, these things are kind of cool in concept on their own, or they're just ridiculously childish, like fire-breathing dinosaur Satan dragon. And you're like, why? Oh, you want me to? Yeah, you go kind of not doing it for a bit. Yeah. My name is Ryu, Glass Smasher. Oh. Oh. No, I'm not coming out of this. Okay, I came out of it. I wanted to get you all before coming down, because I hate dealing with them. <laughs> like that one over there. So at least this mission, while being long, is not pure jungle or pure facility. It kind of blends the two together, but I mean, like, they're not exciting to look at or really well rendered, and they're very linear. And I feel like that's an active reaction to the complaints that I had if the Ninja Gaiden 1 and Ninja Gaiden 2 vanilla, which is, these aren't very clear. Like, where do you want me to go? Like, what do you want me to do? 
Like, I'm just getting bodied. What's happening? Am I going the right way? Did I miss something? Did I need a key? Where is the key? And they went, it's almost like they went, fine, if you're not going to play my little prop hunt game, then I'm going to just make it hyperlinear. And you're like, you know, it's just called being good at pathing. <laughs> like, you can have your cake and eat it. It's just it needs to be good. <laughs> like... No making it linear because you said you, you talked mess about my terrible game design. So now you can't have it. Oh no, we're fighting Lego Man. Oh, I'm fighting these guys. Look, I'm hitting him and he's like, no, you're not hitting me because I said so. I hate characters like that. It's so unsatisfying to fight them. Maybe yes, I'm bad. But I don't care. Look, I hit him. Oh, I can hit him, but only when he says I'm allowed to hit him. I feel like I should be countering them. I feel like the answer is to counter. See, look, like, when I counter them, it's fine. Oh, I see whenever the game gets bored of, like, throwing endless generico enemies at you, it just throws three of these at you and goes, there you go. Challenging in a like, oh, this is a tough fight way. They're challenging in a this is unfair <laughs> kind of way. Whereas uh, I'm hitting them and they're just doing a little dance around me, going, nah, uh, uh, that didn't hit, even though you literally saw my sword touch my hitbox. Nah, uh, uh. And you're like, that's bullshit. Like, I hate that. That's just bad design. But, you know. Oh, thanks, you. The warlock need me in the face as the ultimate throw move. Okay. Well, at least that hit. The grip of murder. Just have to remind you why this is happening every time it happens, because we think you've got, like, forgotten <laughs> or something. You've gotten forgotten. I just have to keep killing them and my health bar goes up. And you know later in the game there'll be like all those people that you killed during those sections were innocents. You could have not killed them, and it's like, I literally have to kill them to stay alive. Like, otherwise my health depletes to zero. Now, I bet you it will pull up, uh, like, Psycho Mantis and go, You're a terrible person. We're just the same, you and I. And they've kind of already said that a few times, and it's only been, like, two missions. Where the antagonist is like, how are we any different? You murder people too. And it's like, yeah, but when the game literally gives you no choice but to murder, it's not like you can go non-lethal with this character, right? Then it just feels like, well, yeah, because that's the fucking game. <laughs> like, I'm not given a choice, right? If those sections specifically, though, are cited as You're a bad person because you killed people when I possessed you with a psychoactive virus that the game incites you have to. Oh, I got it. Yeah. And your health depletes to zero if you don't. Oh, I did everything wrong. Fuck. 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 There we go. Fuck! <laughs> there you go. It's 
very similar upgrade designs. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> very similar upgrade designs to what we were doing in two and one with these upgraded weapons, but it's okay. Seriously, no one's gonna fight me here? Is that for later? Oh, you made me take the stairs. Oh, no. Oh, specifically these stairs. The fuck is the point in that? Oh, hello. Snow job. Holy fucking shit, snow job can teleport. Wait, was that his name? The G.I. Joe dude. The Arctic G.I. Joe. He's the Arctic G.I. Joe. I doubt he was actually called Snow Job. <laughs> that would be fucked up. <laughs> Well, I'm not gonna learn your name, so you're now Snowjob. Also, you're in the middle of the desert wearing only white arctic camouflage. Does the white help you teleport? Well, at least these Wolverine blades are fun. Hitting enemies with Nimpo will heal me! <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, he just dismantled. I think he's dead for you. <laughs> Don't have to keep flying kicking him. He's juggling his corpse. Kind of disrespectful. Okay, fuck me, I guess. What's the point in a war run if I can't jump that? Oh, the shiny. No, don't break their magical iPad. Oh, look, weapons. Look at all the assets in the game. Look at them. You can't have any of them, because this isn't Ninja Gaiden 2. You can just look at them. You're not allowed that way, Ryu. <laughs> T-posing dog. Oh, they're gonna come alive. There you go. <laughs> Why would you train the dog to sit there in a display case? <laughs> That is so whack! <laughs> Doesn't even make fucking sense. I feel like these claws are much easier than the sword. Yeah, just put one fake dog in there so that he's confused. Ignore the giant fiend skeleton. The fuck is that? A Stegosaurus? That is a Stegosaurus. I bet you one of these is like a Satan dragon or something, because it's... They get tonfers. I want tonfers. Give me your tonfers. Politely put them on the floor next to your head. Or be speaking to his manager. Oh, that one's a dragon or some shit. That one's a T-Rex. I don't even fucking know. <laughs> 
so weird. Just at the last minute. Look, giant embryo dinosaur. Why? Just next to my gun collection. You know. Again, like I was saying, just a teenage or like preteen mess of idea of what's cool. Here is my dinosaur collection. Here is my gun collection. And here is my Satan demon collection. They're all next to each other and that doesn't make me look really weird. Do you want to see my Lego? <laughs> like... And I'm allowed to say that because I still collect Lego. <laughs> Lego's cool, man. I really need to stop buying it, though. It's really expensive and it's got no resale value. <laughs> really hard to sell made models to people. Tell me about the dinosaurs. That's not how fossils work. Business, of course. How many children would want a dinosaur as a pet? We could sell millions of the things. And what the fuck is wrong with you? That's represents something even the richest man can't buy. Think about the potential of cloned organs or cloned young bodies. Wow, this this took a creepy turn. Oh, fucking like. Stupidest business concept ever. Uh, you know, kids want a pet dinosaur. Kids also want a pet tiger. Do you see any kids with pet tigers? Don't say Tiger King. <laughs> ah, I see you gave him horns and extra eyes to make him a little scarier. <laughs> this is a fucking mess. <laughs> Oh, okay. Is it me or am I doing like no damage? Wow. This is just... I'm just doing chip damage all the time. Is this the, is this the fight or is it like I'm missing? I'm clipping through it. No, I'm doing nothing to this thing, even when it's downed. Am I supposed to be going for his head? I'll try the head. Just need to knock it over again. I think, if he, yeah, it knocks itself over. Okay, I'll stab its butt. Ow. Did you use tail whip? What the fuck is the point in this fight? Like, it has no collision box, so I'm just phasing through it when I feel like it. Only its attacks have hurt boxes. This, this fight has no impact. Also, the sound effects, if you can hear them, is just like slight crunching sounds of it moving around, so it's not exactly impressive. It's not like, oh, it's smashing its way through the facility. It's just going crunch, crunch, flop. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm supposed to be hitting its face, but I'm too stupid to do that, so I'm just like kind of punching it in its taint a bit. So that's my fault. That's on me. Oh no, that did pretty much nothing either. This is just a slog fight apparently. Am I supposed to lose? Is that the point? I'm not gonna lose. really giving me Marvel Imperfects vibes. Which might be weird, but like, I had a Game Shark, right? And I was like, a kid. And I didn't play those kind of games at that point in my life. And I was like, wow, I'm gonna beat Marvel Imperfects. And if you Game Shark it so that you can't lose, you can't get, like, there's branching endings in that game, which is pretty big for the time. And like, certain ones you're supposed to lose the fight to get the proper ending. And like, I didn't get that and was like, is that it? Is that the end? Like, cause I could beat everything, you know? Like, and you, I always won every fight, so. It was like, why would I deliberately throw a fight? I'm supposed to be winning. 
and then I won with a villain by accident, and it, like, because the story mode makes you fight as a villain, but you're supposed to lose. <laughs> So you always get the bad end. Like seriously, am I doing something wrong? The, the sword's doing less damage. I thought maybe it's because I'm supposed to hit his face. Well, I'm getting his neck. You feel like that's a vital part of your body, right? I want to get slashed in the neck. See? For all those gouters out there who are like, hey, he's not hitting the face. Yeah, I just hit the fucking face. <laughs> Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at it. I'm even clipping through his feet. Oh, okay. How was that different from any every other time? Because I uppercutted his chin. Now it's forcing me to fight, like, it's weak spot. If only it had told me that before. God, why is this guy just sitting here and commentating? You're not JR. <laughs> That you just say, oh, look, he's bad at fighting a T-Rex. It's almost like it's fucking stupid. Uh, it's almost like his health bar is whack. This is a terrible fight. Holy shit. That like, this is literally, I know I keep saying infested chopper. This is literally, I'd say, worse or similar at least. Oh great, more Crash Bandicoot. Look, dude, I'd rather just be playing Crash Bandicoot. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's actually a good platformer. If people complain about the boulder levels in Crash Bandicoot, at least it's not this shit. Oh, I hit a wall, fuck. Ah, oh, oh, okay, instant kill. Cool. Didn't realize I was playing the bad Churok game. <laughs> Instant kill if you touch a dinosaur. Cool. But the dinosaurs don't make any noise. Oh, and I did it wrong again, and now, oh, thanks. Awesome. By the way, I'm not changing my direction to wildly plow into the wall on the left there. As the camera resets, it reads my input differently as I go around that corner, and I forget to autocorrect it before it does it for me. It tries to do it to me again, that's why I'm like sliding like this to stop it from auto-correcting me into the wall. Oh, I hate this game, it's making me actually mildly angry now. Why did they make it this way? Are you dead? This isn't cinematic. Cool, yeah sure. Hey, it's like that thing with Leon. Oh, I missed. Hey, it counted. Bye. Don't come back. There's no way that bow folds up that well. Oh, oh we are fighting something here. Is it? Oh. <laughs> Oh, it got me because it didn't explain where I wanted to go at all, so, okay. Fight him again! Oh, I'm not gonna make it in time, fuck it. Fight him in a bigger hangar so it's even more boring. Ow. God. Fuck this boss fight, holy shit. This might be the worst it's been in a while for me. <laughs> oh my god. Let's well, see why they said it was the worst one in the series. Oh. I mean, I'm fighting an ugly fucking designed dinosaur with a whack health bar that's got a like 
giant shiny chrome street jacket on. I mean, I. Like, if you want me to do something when he's down, you have to tell me. Rather than spamming that hitting things with Ninpo will heal me, maybe tell me what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Oh, oh this game feels broken. It's broken. End this shitty fight. Oh my god, it like the finishing move missed and now it's clipping into itself. Look, it missed! Oh, and it's just repeating the animation! Oh, no! Oh! 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 Like, just let it end! Let it end! <laughs> Thank you! The models was clipping away from each other. Oh, I'm so glad I recorded that so everyone can see how fucking jank that was. Is it dead? Do we kill it? Well done. Oh look, he's That's clapping again. Ninja. Where you go, bodies lie in your wake. And you will join them. Ah, ah, ah. I fucking hate this forced morality this shit. I'm sending people to kill you. Wow, you're a violent asshole for killing the people trying to kill you. <sighs> like, this is the most ridiculous fucking thing. Dead. Sudden death is a ninja speciality after all. Are you okay? Are you okay, Buster Wolf? Oh! <laughs> it was you! Oh, I'm dead. Game over, guys. Let's all go home. Thank fucking Christ. <laughs> Shot. Oh, no! <laughs> Hopefully it can get better from here, guys, yeah?